this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to match the color of objects uh, between different photos. So this is uh, one of my personal favorites here. Uh, what we're going to show you is um, how to match the color of uh, t-shirts here. And uh, this is something that could be applied to uh, everyday things. If you had, you know, you take a picture of yourself uh, with one shirt and you would like to see what that shirt is with a, in a different color or in exactly the same color as your, you know, your friend had or something like that, and you want to see how it would look and so forth. This is a great one because it does the, it just does it beautifully. So what we're going to do here is just match the color of this shirt here, this uh, red T-shirt. We're going to match it, um, this red onto this uh, black T-shirt, and I chose black because black is traditionally one of the uh, harder colors to actually uh, try to replace normally. If you're trying to impose some color over top of black uh, in the traditional way, uh, which is just use a straight on um, a hue and saturation layer. What it would do, you, you could impose color on top of things, but since black is, you know, black, there isn't much imposing to do. Whatever you do would be in very dark shade of a little bit of, you know, would be like a very dark blue and so forth. So um, I'm going to show you this alternate way here, which uh, you can actually match the colors. We're going to transform this red, this black here into this red. So first thing we need to do here is uh, just change the modes of the images. So we want to change them to lab color. So we're going to image mode and lab color, and we'll make sure we do this for both images. Okay. Once we've done that, uh, we need to um, make some selections here. So we're going to use the eyedropper tool, and I'm actually going to uh, expose here our info palette. And what I want to do is uh, select a neutral part of this red here. We want to select some part of the red that is not uh, in, in any part of like a crease and so forth. We just want to select uh, just the base color of the uh, of the shirt, and it'll be somewhere here. Uh, here and so forth. Anything that doesn't have any of the shadows in it would be good. So we're going to hold down shift and you can see the icon changes here. So we're going to click into this area here. And because we're going between images, we're not actually going to be able to see, um, you know, the, the information here uh, once we go into this image. So I would recommend writing it down. So I'll do this myself here as well. So I'm just writing down 56, 46 and 33. You don't need to worry about the labels, but just 56, 46, and 33. Okay, now we'll go into uh, this one here and do the same thing. We're going to pick an area that's neutral, for example, here, so it's not in one of the shades and the folds. And we're going to shift and click. So you can see here we have a color of 19, 0, and 0. And the objective is just to match that. So where we had 56, 46, and 33, we're going to impose that to over here, and you'll see that we'll, we'll pretty much we will actually exactly match that color, and then we'll be able to add some uh, some contrast to it to, to make it as, as as contrasty as you like, I suppose, without changing the color. So, uh, like I said, it's a really cool tip. I, I really enjoy uh, making this change. So <laughs> let me just uh, move this uh, image here to the side here so you can see what we're doing, especially with the info palette here uh, open uh, as it would be. Uh, every once in a while here. So what we're going to do is uh, just open up our, our layers palette right now and uh, go over to the um, adjustment layer and we're going to add a hue and saturation layer. Now we're going to be doing a hue and saturation layer. We're going to also be doing something that's called colorize. So we're going to add colorize here to the image and um, we are going to be doing something a little bit different which is we, we are using the uh, lab color mode. So in the lab color mode we have a lot more flexibility in being able to actually pinpoint the color we want to change and change that. It's different from being in the regular RGB mode which you'd have a heck of a time trying to do anything really. So we're going to just go ahead and click OK because one thing that we need to do here is actually just apply the hue and saturation layer just to the t-shirt and nothing else. So what we need to do is select the t-shirt. So we're going to unview this uh, the hue and saturation uh, layer so far for now. Uh, we're going to select our background layer here. And now we're going to go into select and color range. And I want to select just the t-shirt. Now in this case, this is quite easy because all I need to do is just click inside of the red area here, play with the fuzziness. We just want to get all of the t-shirt. So anything that's black, we don't want to get anything that's white. This image is particularly in this aspect quite easy because it's literally black and white so all we need to do is just click once in here and then just adjust the fuzziness till you get all of the t-shirt and the creases and so forth so we want to make sure that we get everything in there so there we are that's pretty good 
If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.